By now you've had a chance to choose an innovation and are ready to share your findings. You're going to be creating and sharing a web page that highlights your chosen innovation. Here are the steps that I will be guiding you through. First, we will be logging into Thimble, a handy tool for practicing basic web design. Take a moment to write down the URL listed here. Afterwards, place it into the address bar of your favorite browser. If you have not used this tool in the past, then you will need to create your own account. Make sure you have a school email account handy. Click Create an Account and follow the prompts. Specify a username, email, and password. Thimble will send you an email with a confirmation link that you must click in order to activate your account. Once your account is confirmed, log in to begin working with Thimble. Instead of building a web page completely from scratch, I will be having you remix one of my creations. After all, this lesson is more about you expressing your unique point of view rather than showing off your mad HTML skills. Return to the main lesson page and click on the link entitled Thimble Innovation. When you do that, you will see a Remix button in the upper right-hand corner. Click it to get started. You will be remixing the page by changing its content. I have provided you a step-by-step -step tutorial that you will be following. Let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with Thimble's interface. Thimble is what is called a WYSIWYG tool, or what you see is what you get. So you will be able to track your changes as you make them. On the leftmost side, you will see a file section, which contains all of our project's files. In the middle, you will see an editor section where you will write your code. And on the right side, you will see a preview section where you get to see the web page as you make it. This is also the side where you see the tutorial. Let's click on that now. To complete the project, follow the step-by-step -step tutorial reading closely for detail. Let's get started with our project. I'm going to start with how to remix. The first step says to rename the project by clicking on the title in the upper left-hand corner. What I want to do is include the first name and last initial of anyone involved in the project and then save it. So I'm going to put in the name of my wife and I who worked on this. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the remix on the end and press save. Awesome. That's the only thing that you ever have to save in Thimble. Otherwise, it automatically saves your work. The second step is to replace the page title on line six in index.html. Index.html is our web page. This is where we're going to be making our changes. So find line six and you'll see that there's a title element. It has an opening and closing tag. We're going to change what's in the middle with the name of our innovation. My innovation is the plastic injection molding machine. Okay, let's go on to our next step. So we're going to go to step three. It says replace the page heading on line 10 in index.html with the name of the innovation we chose. So just as I did before, I'm going to find line 10 and I'm going to replace where it says name of innovation with mine, the plastic injection molding machine. Now the best way to use Thimble is to bounce back and forth between the tutorial and the preview. The tutorial has the steps, but preview is the web page I'm making. Notice how line 10, this heading, now reflects my changes, plastic injection molding machine. Back to our tutorial. The next thing, step four, is to search Google Images for a picture related to our innovation. So let's do that. Let's go to Google Images, and it'll take some work, but eventually you'll find something that you want to use to represent your innovation. I am searching for plastic injection molding, and I've got a picture I have in mind, which is this one right here. This one's cool because it has somebody explaining what plastic injection molding is, and you can see all the things you can make with it, like Legos, and also the um, billiards ball that originally spawned the creation of plastic injection molding. Once I find an image I like, I'm gonna choose view image, and then right click, copy image address, or whatever the equivalent is in your browser. Go back to Mozilla Thimble, and it says that on line 11, there is an SRC attribute that we need to update. 
that we can paste this into. So go to line 11, and inside the double quotes that you see, you are going to paste, using Control V or Command V, the link to your image. Go to Preview, and now you should see that you have a nice image. All right, back to the tutorial. Step five, you're gonna replace the paragraphs on line 13, 15, and 17 with the responses that you came up with. You were asked three questions. What spurred the innovation? What was the invention or innovation? And why is this significant? So you will see that there is a paragraph underneath each one of those questions. You are going to be replacing the content of these paragraphs with what you came up with or with what you and your partner came up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've updated my paragraph. I talked about how plastic injection molding came from the fact that billiards used to be played with balls made from elephant tusks. But that was very expensive and obviously not good for the animal, so John Wesley Hyatt came up with a better way. Then, what was the innovation? I'm gonna update that as well on line 15 with the paragraph I wrote. And I'm also going to talk about why this innovation was significant. So I wrote a paragraph for that as well. I'm gonna be putting that within the start and end tag on line 17. Don't replace the tags, just the content. Okay, let's click on preview. Now you can see underneath each one of my key questions, I have a well-formed paragraph that explains my point of view, what spurred the innovation, what was the innovation, and why is this significant. Let's go back to the tutorial. Now I realize that many of you probably already know something about web design. So I wanna give you an opportunity to take this project a little bit further. If you already feel like you're significantly challenged, then I want you to go on to where it says how to save and how to publish. But if you wanna do a little bit more, I have a section in here called the next level. And I can walk you through that. One of the things you might wanna to do to spice up your web page is to start doing some style changes. Style is done with something called cascading style sheets or CSS. And the style for our project is kept in this file called style.css. If you wanted to, you could go to line 13 and you could change the color and that will change the color of your title. So once again, that's in style.css and that's on line 13. So if you know some uh, style, you can go ahead and play around with that. One other thing you might wanna try is to add a custom font to your page. This is something that will really spice things up and give your page a unique look. To do that, you can go to Google Fonts and peruse the different fonts and find something that you really like. I like this, um, I don't know if it's Fira Sans Condensed, but I'm gonna click on the plus icon and down below you'll see it'll say family selected. When I click on that, there's a little section right here that has a link. I can copy that using Control C or Command C into my clipboard and go back to my Thimble project. Then I can go to my web page, and right after line seven, I can press enter and paste it in. So I'm gonna be adding another link into my web page. Then, last but not least, there is this little style rule that I need to copy into my clipboard. And that I can take back to style.css and replace line two. Highlight all of line two and control V or command V. And when you do that, you will see that whatever font you chose is now the default font for the page and it has a nice personalized look. So that's just a couple things you can do to take it further. I have the complete instructions here if you missed that. At this point, I'm satisfied with my web page, so it's time to publish it for all the world to see. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see a publish button. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on publish, and then I've given you an example of something you can do for a description. So you're gonna write that, and then when you're done, click publish. When you publish, you'll be given a URL that you're gonna to wanna to copy into your clipboard, Control C or Command C. 
and this is what you're going to be sharing with your classmates. Last but not least, it's time to share my web page by posting it to our class Padlet. Return to the main lesson page. Double click anywhere on the Padlet. Make sure you title your post using first names and last initials only of your team members. So in my case, that's going to be James C and Jennifer M. Finally, click on any of the icons to paste the URL to your completed web page. Paste the URL using Control V or Command V, and you can click the arrow. If everything looks good, press OK. Congratulations, you are done. I look forward to seeing all the great web pages you've created. Thanks for doing this project. Let me know if you have any questions.